here we have the ingredients for all of it. A half a cup of shortening, two cups of sugar, two eggs, and we also have a teaspoon of vanilla, four cups of flour, and we have two teaspoons soda, one half cup baking powder, a half a teaspoon salt, and I use the dark chocolate, a half a cup, and one cup milk. And I will post this online, the ingredients, very simple. First, we're gonna start and go ahead and whip this together. Low speed is fine. You wanna just incorporate that together. We'll let that whip a minute or two, and then we'll add the other ingredient. Okay, right now I have to use two hands to add the flour, so you won't be able to see really close, but we don't want it going everywhere. What I've done is I mixed a half a cup of the dark chocolate Hershey's cocoa powder into my four cups of flour, and we're just going to gradually add that. I am going to also add the uh, two teaspoons of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. While that mixes together, we are going to alternate this flour mixture with some hot water. And it only calls for a half a cup of the hot water, so I just get it out of my coffee maker, don't have to boil it or you can put it in the microwave. And it does call for one cup of milk. So we're blending this together, smooth and creamy, and it blends together fairly easy. So it doesn't take that long. And your kids, your hubby, your spouse will love this. Lots of calories, so we'll have to exercise a little harder, I'm sure but it's worth the uh, treat. I don't know if you can see my dog, but she's waiting for me to drop something. Yesterday I worked on the homemade noodles and we ate all those. They were so very good. The chicken broth just gets absorbed in those noodles and they are really good when they're hot. Okay, we're getting there with the uh, mixture here. We're just about done. Slowly adding things in. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I just kind of eyeball it up. I don't, I'm not too accurate with uh, little things like that. And we're going to add the rest of the milk. And just a little bit more water. You want your mixture to be on the, uh, kind of like a pudding, a thicker pudding, so that you can spread it on the sheets like a cookie dough, but not nearly as thick, because it, it wants to raise almost like a cake, and you want it to be a smooth texture, but not too uh, runny where it's going to go all over the pan. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this mix for a minute and I'll be right back with you. Okay everybody, we got it all mixed up and what we're going to do is we're going to place it on the cookie sheets by spoonfuls and get it in the oven. I have my oven set on 350 degrees and uh, I have a gas range so it probably goes a little bit quicker in the gas range compared to your electric oven. So we're going to Put these in here, get them baked up. We're going to smooth it out, get them a little bit in the circular shape here so we can fill them when they come out. And they're a lot like, I don't know, ice cream sandwiches, but they're not ice cream. So there they are. We're going to slide them in and get these going. Okay, everybody, we're going to go ahead and pull out the first tray. It's probably been about eight minutes, and um, this is what they're going to look like when you take them out. They're nice and puffy. They look good. They smell good. And I bake them for, like I said, about eight minutes on 345, 340 
on the gas range. I always forget that it bakes a little bit hotter. And we're going to go ahead and get these baked up and I'll show you how to make the filling to put inside of them and we'll try them out. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. We got our gob supply all made and when I was checking them in the oven, all you have to do is touch them and um, if they spring back, you're good. And we try to keep them on the softer side because they taste a lot better than if they would be firmer. So what I've done is I've put a stick of real butter in here and I'm gonna add some vanilla. I got some heavy whipping cream and I got about four cups of sugar, powdered sugar, and uh, we're gonna whip it up and fill the gobs and then we get to eat. And a lot of people refrigerate their gobs because they like the filling firm, but I like them a little bit softer. So as soon as we get this whipped up, we'll work on the gobs.